Aspirin is chemically acetyl salicylic acid and medically a non-steroidal analgesic and anti-inflammatory medicine. What is the actual concept behind using aspirin in gardening? Well, salicylic acid is naturally found in willow bark and many other trees. Studies have found that the plant hormone, salicylic acid is released in tiny amounts when plants are in stress. Here are 10 powerful uses of aspirin in gardening and farming. At number 1. Aspirin for plant growth. Many university research studies have been conducted on this. They sprayed plants with aspirin water once every three weeks for the course of an entire growing season and found that the plants sprayed with the aspirin solution were found much bigger and had more fruits and flowers than their counterparts. So, how to use aspirin in your garden? You can dissolve one full tablet of aspirin in one gallon of water and drench your plants with this solution once in a month. You can also spray this solution on the leaves or even water your plants with this aspirin water. This enhances the immune system of plants and helps them to combat pests and microbial attacks, prevents the formation of fungus, leading to increased growth of plants and improves the overall health of your plants. At Number 2 Aspirin improves seed germination. A low dose of aspirin water significantly improves seed germination. In one study, the plants treated with the aspirin water had a 100% germination rate, while the plants that weren't treated had more inconsistent results. To make this solution or spray, drop half a tablet of a 350 mg aspirin in one gallon of water, or a quarter tablet per liter of water and stir well. First method is, to spray this on the seeds that are already planted, and the second method is, to soak the seeds in this solution for 1 to 2 hours before planting them. At Number 3. Aspirin as a Rooting Hormone. As already discussed, salicylic acid is naturally found in willow bark and many other trees. Willow bark extract is being used since ages as a rooting agent to clone plant cuttings successfully. If you do not have rooting hormone powders, like naphthalene acetic acid and indole butyric acid, you can use aspirin for this job. Take 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder from your kitchen and add it to 1 liter of lukewarm water and then drop in half a tablet of 350 mg aspirin and stir it well. Then dip the cuttings into this solution for about 30 to 60 minutes, and then plant these cuttings into soil. If you are trying to root cuttings in water, drop half a tablet of aspirin in one liter of water. If you are changing this water weekly, you need to again add half a tablet of aspirin into the container till rooting starts. At Number 4. Aspirin as an antifungal to treat blight in plants. Blight means a specific symptom affecting some plants, like tomatoes and peppers due to infections by pathogenic microorganisms, leading to rapid and complete chlorosis, browning, then death of plant tissues started from leaves, branches, flowers and fruits. The dosage to treat this is, one tablet of aspirin per gallon of water, and spray or drench your plant with this water. At Number 5. To keep cut flowers stay fresh for a longer time. Put a quarter tablet of aspirin in a vase with fresh cut flowers, which helps them stay fresh for longer. If the vase is larger, add half a tablet. Now, the aspirin pesticide recipe. Take a large onion and drop it into a kitchen blender. Add four fresh cloves of garlic into this. Add two teaspoons of red chili powder. Add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Blend this into a fine paste by adding some water. Now, add about two cups of water to this and mix well. Allow it to steep overnight. Then in the morning, strain out the liquid using a nylon cloth or a fine sieve to get your pesticide concentrate. You can even store this concentrate in a refrigerator. To apply as pesticide, use it in 1 is to 5 dilution in water. To 1 cup of this pesticide, add 5 cups of water, and most importantly do not forget to add some 10 drops of liquid detergent soap for the surfactant effect and to coat the leaves and retain the pesticide effect for a longer time. Use this twice weekly until all pests are eradicated. 
This will successfully kill common pests like aphids, mealybugs, whiteflies, and many others. Please like the video, share this with your gardening friends, comment below with your feedback and queries. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!